Hey guys, what's up? It's episode 10 of Bachelorette Weekend, the finale. We find out if Taylor invests in Batch Weekend and what Liz's final decision is. Caroline and I are so excited to talk to you guys right now. You're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Last episode. It's like a feel good song for us to go out with a bang. Because this was a bang episode. Batch Weekend can go out with a bang. The final episode. You don't know what is happening. You don't know if Batch Weekend is going under. You don't know if Liz is gone forever. So much to talk about. And Caroline and I are here to talk about it with you guys. Happy Thursday or whatever. Yes, it is Thursday. It might not be Thursday. Thursday that you're listening or watching. But we're Happy excited day. to be here with you guys. I'm your host, Sarah Serio, and to my left we have... Hi, guys. I'm Caroline Thayer. Yay! Yay! <laughs> We've had so much fun this season. We have. Thank Talking you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And we... shout out to the cast who always seems to, you know, comment. You guys are really fun. Yeah, I, I wish you the best. So, it started off. Liz coming out of Robbie's office, because last episode it ended with her... Given her two weeks, I'm assuming. No, she said this is my in the letter. If you read it, it was like I didn't today read is it. my final day. It was blurry, like when I paused it, so I couldn't really like see final day. I assumed because she never came back, so I was like, this probably isn't two weeks. Final day. Wow, that's harsh. Girl got a box and filled it with her things and tears. Mm, such a movie moment. She did seem genuinely really sad. Nicole was upset. JJ's probably like, what's going on? Roses were like, really? It's like. What Rachel's just like, I heard rumbling. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I heard, I was like, I heard a commotion. Kidding. I'm like, okay. That's hilarious. Anyways, Liz is bye. Out. Liz has left the, the building. building. Yes. Literally. Took how, her things and left. How weird. Went out and hung out with her dog, Toby. Do you. Rachel, then the next day after, it, after Liz left and all yeah. that happened. Rachel then had the discussion with Nicole because Nicole was upset. And Rosa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Rachel was so upset with Nicole because Robbie had asked oh. Nicole about the topic of Liz. I was irate at that moment. At I was so annoyed that Rachel one? chose to say that. Okay. I was like, again, with the comments, in front of everyone, why are you doing that? Why are you calling individuals out? And also, she, for all she knows, and I think that Nicole had said this in the last episode, if Liz tells Nicole she's sick, then she's sick. Even if you know, like, you're supposed to say what you know. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I just... I feel bad for Nicole because what are you going to do? You're stuck in a rock on a stuck between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, like for you sure. literally do not you can't win in this situation. And I don't think she did anything necessarily wrong. Like she's like I, I mean, I would have just been like, "Look, Liz, I'm not going to say anything. I can't lie for you." But I also think that Rachel reading her the riot act being like, "You're lucky that we haven't spoken to you." was really unnecessary and uncool. Yeah. No, I completely agree with you. I just wanted to know what you thought. Yeah, there is my what you seeming about answer. It. The next day comes, and they obviously have the meeting for the new bachelorette party, but now it's a bachelor, bachelor party, party, which is always, to me, a little bit more fun. So they have a new party coming in. Marcus, 32, from L.A. He's a film producer. Seems so fun. Seems V fun, so V stylish. Chill. Yeah. I can't believe Super. I just used the word V. Oh, I do all the time. Okay. So I'm like really excited For those inside. of you who don't know what V means, it means very. And you should use it in your vocab. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> he is the new bachelor for the weekend. Mm -hmm. Very... And it's his birthday. Yeah, it was like a double whammy for him. He seemed to have a really eclectic group of friends. One in particular. <laughs> Tay Bastion. Tay Bastion. Tay for short. And then Who named Tay their Bastion. child Tay Bastion? Like, I'm Some genuinely fierce people. Fierce. That is a good thing. I mean, like, fantastic props to you because Sebastian already is out there, but Tay Bastian is next level. That was crazy. Which is him. His personality yeah. is very next level. 
We'll get to his party, but I feel like there was so much than just, like, their normal explanations of, like, what they were going to do this weekend at this meeting because Mm -hmm. it was the first time that Liz wasn't there. Yeah. So they all had to kind of, you know, address the elephant in the room. Did you notice that they literally left Liz's seat open? I was like, come on, man. Just take the seat away like it's musical chairs. It has to be. Super dramatic. Okay. Robbie obviously makes it known that they're going to have to do this with one less person. So to just pick up the slack, and then it just seemed you say it awkward. What? Say it. What? You know what I'm saying? Who made that comment? Listen, Rosa. You know I love you. Um, <laughs> Was that a wink? Yes, to her directly. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that comment, girl. I knew you said you would say it to her face, and I know you would. But it's just like shady. Rosa, I know you, we love you too. Like, I wasn't going to make you say it, but it was shady. <laughs> it, was it was really, amazing. really shady. And Rosa, you know that I love you as well, but I think that that was unnecessary. It was petty. It was beneath you. That's Just not don't who do you it did. in front of Robbie. Like, of all people, like, he already is like, oh, I'm right. Like, I yeah. know it. Just and it's don't like, do it in front of whatever. him. Whatever. But, of course, Nicole went on the offensive, was like, or sorry, defensive of um, Liz saying, you know, we should not be saying such negative things like let's dial it back and Rachel said you know I don't think anyone said anything that they wouldn't have said to their face or that was really controversial you know obviously they throw themselves into their work but the the Liz uh Liz's absence is obviously very noticeable yeah and it was nice I was nice to see them realize that she does do a lot because the fact that they walked into that closet that has all the decorations in it that you're like wondering what that closet actually is. Was all right, super, I thought that was staged. Was, yeah, probably. It was super cluttered <laughs> or whatever, and I'm like, that's probably also not Liz's job I title. see Rosa and Nicole also in there blowing up Cleaning balloons. Up, yeah. I don't know. I thought it was Rachel's job. I thought Rachel handled a lot of the decorations. I don't know, but I absolutely agree with you that it was staged 100%. Anyways, they get to this house for the L.A. people. And I will say, Rosa, your saving grace in this episode was how many times you were, like, in an L.A. accent because they're from L.A. Yeah. Because they're L.A. people. That was great. Avocado toast. If we sound it was like fantastic. that, I don't give think... us a thumbs up in the comments. I don't think I do. I truly, truly don't think you do either. Okay. I also don't think I do. I'm, like, Smoothies. not a valley girl. But, like Sarah was saying, we are so appreciative of you guys, and thank you so much for watching. Continue to like and sub- subscribe. Can I speak? I yeah. don't know. Continue to like and subscribe <laughs> our channel um, and all our other After Buzz channels. We're really sad that this is our last episode, um, but you can listen to us on Spotify or podcasts or, of course, here on YouTube. So thanks for being the best fans, guys. Yeah, we really appreciate it. We love hearing from you, so continue. Hit us up. To hit us up. Okay, anyways. <laughs> moving on. Moving on. All the dudes Minus. Arrive. Minus. Minus Jesse, which if you know who that is, it's Jesse Montana, and he's been on Vanderpump Rules. Just so you know. Dun, dun, he's dun. someone kind of just in the whole world he's here in, in Hollywood. So they I'm arrive. Wondering, we should like totally message the people. I want to meet Jeff. I mean, I want to meet um, Marcus and his husband, who or presumably Ooh, yeah. husband Jeff, right? Is yeah. his name Jeff and Marcus? Yeah, Marcus with a K. Yeah. We um. Anyway, totally do that. They Je- get there. Jesse is M I A. He literally calls Nicole and Rosa. Hi, honeys. Um, I missed my flight. He literally called them honeys. I know. They were like, "Do you guys have loves. a private jet?" And I loved Rosa's response. She's like, "We're a little shy with um batch weekend jets." It's like. Do y'all even have Batch Weekend? No, Jets? no, no. They I'm don't have. Sure they, you don't. they don't have a fund, as Robbie said. They're like this yeah. much money in but the I tank. But I loved that you still put it out there that you did something in the universe. You'll get it back one day. <laughs> mm, true. But anyway, that was amazing. Rosa saved the day. Got him a flight. He was going to land obviously later. So I can't. He's amazing because he just hopped on that bowl I later. Know. 
basically he did end up arriving. He in arrived, time. but before he arrived, they went to Top Golf, which is so much fun. I've I did it in Vegas. I've also never done that. It's so much fun. Anyone, you should Google to see if it's in your area. Top Golf, great. They went there. It was a little celebration for his birthday because, like Caroline said, it was Marcus's birthday as well as bachelorette party. So Bachelor How weekend convenient. brought them brought him a cake. He had a sweet little moment with his friends, which was nice. Yeah, he got a little mosh. Emotional. Yeah, I think they had a good time, and then they ended up going to Tequila Cowboy, where it took them a solid probably twenty minutes to not even order a drink because there was one Ooh. bartender working. I think. Can I, I just say? I don't know. I again Awkward. was so immensely frustrated with that. Why is Batch Weekend not? Why did they not have a specific bartender allocated for this party? I don't understand. You have one job. Okay, Maybe it was sorry. Rosa's job. <laughs> I'm just Maybe kidding. it was Rosa's job. Well, Rosa, again, came to the rescue. Saved the day, yeah. Found, like, went and found a homie and said, hey, I need you to help. They're upstairs. They are riding the bull, and they need some alcohol. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he was just like a security guard, which I loved because I was like, okay, do it up. And I think they really appreciated it because, I mean, they're from L.A., so. Yeah, they were like, they're used to having bottle service. I so. wanted to be like, is that what you really think? Because most people in when L.A. Look don't. At us, I, I don't get that when I go out. I like barely go out, so whatever. Anyways, they really took the bulls by the horn. Like, all four or five of them got on. That bull, like Nicole said, had gotten so much action in that one night, more than she's ever seen. And Three I months, completely agree. And out of nowhere comes Jesse. He finally Literally, arrived. Literally, where did that man appear Don't from? Know. He flew in and was on the bull. Like, I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Did I, Can anyone give us um, I'm pretty sure his plane, like, airdropped him. Um, Literally just plopped into onto the bull. I don't know. Cowboy. I don't know. Because that was, that was amazing. Yep. And, oh my goodness, were they hungover as heck the next yep. morning. Because they needed their avocado hotel. They had a boozy brunch. I loved how last episode and this episode they had boozy brunches. I really appreciated it. Because I feel like when they plan things for them the next day after they go out. It's, it's very like, lackluster. That's a lot. And a boozy brunch is a good way to start so the day. they had a boozy brunch. And Rosa was the one who actually literally made the avocado toast. They had, they sliced some radishes. They had like a omelet saw, situation, yeah. waffles. It was a gourmet breakfast to say the least. A good post and they had, on they had a, toast. Um, they had a professional chef come in. Again, their house was lovely too. I know. I know, man. They had a good one. And then after the mm-hmm. after the brunch, they went to Big Machine for a whiskey tasting and vodka tasting. Yeah. If you guys know anything about Big Machine, it, it's Big Machine Records. They're based out of Nashville, obviously. Um, but Taylor Swift is signed to them. Tim McGraw is signed to them. Uh, but they have now recently ventured into the alcohol business. Mm-hmm. They got vodka and uh, whiskey, right? Mm-hmm. So they went and did that. Super I cute. was confused because I thought he only drank tequila. So I know, I know. So I didn't think what they were gonna do would like uh, please him. But he mm-hmm. seemed to be have fun. No, yeah, he seemed to enjoy it a lot. I thought it was funny that they thought the shot glasses were so small. But it's like, honey, when you're tasting whiskey, <laughs> you're tasting maybe like seven to ten. That's a lot, and That's whiskey why is high. In alcohol, alcohol con- um, content, or so like the little shot glasses. Yeah, I mean, I get, I get that at first glance. You're like, what? But think about a wine tasting. They don't fill your glass. No, they give you literally a a sip. Mm-hmm. And then of course hmm. Tay was starting, starting at the at the whiskey. So JJ was like, you know what? I have an idea. We're done here. Y'all are feeling yourselves. Why don't we go for a little photo shoot on Broadway? It's like, who wouldn't want that? And they're like, yeah. So they all go. They're ready, ready to smile. But Tay smile. is MIA. Want to know where Tay is? Tay's in the limo. I'll tell ya. Tay's in the limo. Tay's getting undressed. Tay has a surprise for everyone. Tay comes out of the limo. Boxers. Hat. 
ready to go. They were like, all right. And I'm like, oh. in my head, I'm like, we always have that one. Why can't there ever be an episode where one person Always the bridesmaid, wanna, never the bride. Like, does, wants to just give the person their time to shine. They seemed fine. All good, all great. Then out of nowhere, I think Tay's vodka just went through his body cells. And he's on top of the limo. He's running through traffic. And Marcus is finally, like, pissed. He seemed so upset. And Tay is like, um, is everything okay? And he's like, yeah, it's fine. You know when someone says, yeah, it's fine, it's not fine. That's the equivalent to a K Mm -hmm. in a text, you know? And then Robbie and JJ are like, you know what? We got to continue. And he's like, I'm so sorry. I just had a moment. I had a moment. Okay? And Marcus a is very like, long fine. Moment. And they're like, let's continue to make this Marcus's day. Tay finally was on board. He was like, got it. This is Marcus's night. Full force for him. Yep. Wow, I just realized my chair is making a lot of noise. It's okay. We're going to roll with it. Uh, but yeah. Way to, way to like reel it back in, Tay. Yeah. I mean, we, t- we totally skipped over, even though, yeah, that was all about The Bachelor. But moving to... L- no, no, no. We're, we're, we're just talking about The Bachelor party first. But yes, Liz, with Liz has a moment with Nicole. I honestly was screaming at my television when I watched this. Yeah. I was so angry at this conversation. Why? Because Liz literally flip-flopped, like, oh, let me just talk to my dad really quickly. Um... Yeah. And also, she went and had dinner with Rachel. That's, that one upset me. Oh, I not, just think- Not the one with Nicole. The one with Rachel upset me because I'm like, are you kidding me right now? You could now? have done this before you quit. You could have had this conversation so you didn't have all these thoughts. Because this whole- I know. This whole- and everything that like stemmed from it was because of the comment you heard him say that well there's always room at Liz's yep. desk. If you didn't like that comment, then I'm sorry, be an adult, go to Robbie and <laughs> say like, "Hey, I, I heard you this. say this yeah. comment, like what does it mean?" And yeah, sure. Want- Based off this show is Robbie's answers kind of <laughs> like Douchey, yes. So, Robbie, you need to work on how to approach your answer sometimes. Yeah. So, I get it, how, but you just all need to stop coming at each other with such, like, animosity. And just, like, because it, Liz literally seemed, you could even see it in her. Like, it washed over her, like, a sense of release when Rachel was like, that's not what he meant. He just meant that there was more room in the office for one more person. It just annoys me, though, because, and, and Rachel said, you know, they would, she would be underneath all three of you, mm-hmm. I, presumably Rosa, Nicole, and Liz. But what bothered me about Liz and Nicole's interaction was she was like, well, I talked to my dad and he gave me perspective. Again, this is after she's already quit. And I'm like, no person in their mm-hmm. right mind would really give you your job back after you've, like, left in a huff like that. Mm-hmm. And then with Rachel, it was just, like, pounding on all the stuff that, in my mind, Liz had done wrong. And, mm-hmm. like, showing her that she had made the wrong decision. But, you know, you got to live with what you do. Live in regret. Yeah. Liz. Well, well, Liz. This might not be the last time we see her. Or is it? So we it? get to the meeting for Marcus's bachelorette. I mean, sorry. I'm used to saying bachelorette. Marcus's okay. bachelor weekend. and Things went well. Things went well. They got another five-star review, which all these five-star are well-deserved, but I feel like once Rob Lee, Rob Rob Lee. Lee, Robbie made the rule that he would only give the money out really up that motivation yeah which is great it's just like i feel like that should have happened a while ago yep 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 but so they give the award out and of course the finale rosa gets it well deserved very well she got them their drinks she made the avo toast what more are you gonna do for these people save save jesse on his flight i know you did bra 
You were like freaking Cinderella. Vo. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Robbie's like, hey, let's celebrate. Because apparently it's the end of wedding season. And did you know that wedding season was March to October? I didn't know it started so early. I'm not, I, I, I But they're like, October this has been our end. season. And they've only had like, what, 11 or 12 parties? I'm I like, thought oh, it started Manta. in like May, to be honest. But I knew like that time, end of summer, fall is super popular yeah. for weddings. So, yeah. yes. So they. Which times perfectly with now, because it, obviously it's October. Yeah. So Robbie said that they were going to Up, which is a root. Ru- rooftop lounge in Nashville to celebrate as a group, as a team, bring significant others. They deserved it. Robbie brings his mom. And his girlfriend. Which Caroline knew he had. I had no idea. So shout out to you, dude. Allie. And his mother, Linda. Mm-hmm. In tow. Like, don't be that guy. I mean, I guess you're the CEO, but like, <laughs> everyone, like, poor Linda. Like, who's Linda going to talk to? But then again, would you want to be Nicole and had to like bring her friends and literally everyone else had a significant other. No. Poor, Poor Nicole. Nicole and Rachel though. Oh my gosh, and Rachel, I yeah, know. newly single. Whatever. And then Rosa girls. brought her husband. Yep. And JJ brought his girlfriend. And they were all there celebrating. Good time. Robbie's like, thank you so much. It can only go up from here. We had such a great season together. And then in walks Taylor. <laughs> the investor of were like, are you going to call us? He shows up. I was like so happy when I was watching. I got like chills. I was like, oh, oh my God. Oh, I did not. I just did because I was so excited for them because I knew what this meant. Yes, I did. I, I mean, he's not going to come there to the party and be like, <laughs> hey, guess what? Not investing. But, yeah. you know, he and Robbie had spoken on the phone earlier. Robbie was like, I'll send you projections, more in-depth details, which like, duh. Um, yeah. And Taylor was like, hey, I'm investing. Well, actually, what Ro- Robbie said, he's taking on the entire... He's fully funding, funding Batch Weekend. And which is interesting because I wonder... He's, but fully I know. funding. So I wonder, does that mean, like, Robbie now, because he's relinquishing his own um, funding of the company, like, is he no longer going to be really running it? He might... It's probably all in, like, a contract or uh, whatever, yeah. but he might not, obviously, have full say... But that was really exciting. They were super yeah. excited. I mean, congratulations. It's a huge moment in the company and for them. So I'm sure that was amazing. Yeah. And then Robbie was like, I have one more surprise. And I kind of knew. Oh, God. I thought this was by far the worst part of the episode. I was like, <laughs> I know where this is going. And it's so, so dramatic. I'm like, there's no need to have a person hide behind him when he you walks in. You could see it because she wasn't even short so, enough to hide behind him. And and Liz is. It was Liz. Sorry. No, it's like, okay. Like, Liz, are you kidding me? Like, why? And Nicole's Such like, can we invite? Oh, sorry. Liz is like, um, or Nicole was like, can we invite Liz? He's like, now. Well, Liz showed up. Liz showed up as the last surprise saying, like, I'm, I'm back. back. All right. That sums it up, guys. I don't know. I just, I wasn't, I was not satisfied. Like, look, I'm so happy they have an investor. I'm very happy they all worked it out and they are um, ending the season as a team the way that they yeah. started. But I thought everything was so dramatic, could have been avoided. And did that ending really need to happen? Like, literally, Liz, I could see your hair when you're walking in. Nicole's <laughs> like, who could it be? JJ's like, I don't know. It's Liz, like the only brunette girl, like with dark hair. I loved it. <laughs> I mean, right. I completely agree with Caroline, but it's like, I loved it. Such, such a corny way to go out, and y'all went out. That bar looked really cool, it I did. will say. I wonder what will happen with Batch Weekend. Yeah, I'm excited to see what happens with Batch Weekend. Robbie, Nicole, Liz, Rosa, JJ, Rachel. It's been a really fun Taylor. season. Taylor. Donald, it has been such a fun season. Thank you guys so much for watching from start to finish. We really appreciate it. Continue to watch shows at AfterBuzz to follow Mm -hmm. me at Serio and follow Serio and follow me Caroline Thayer at Caroline J Thayer. Thank you guys so much and peace out. Bye guys, thank you. Bye.
Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.